following opinions are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Boatest.com, and this is the latest launch from the Regal factory, the 2800. She's built on the fast track hull, so I'm gonna put it through a full sea trial and see how she does. We'll start with the test numbers. This is a 50 mile an hour boat, and she delivers that speed with a 29.9 gallon per hour average fuel burn. Her most economical cruise came in at 4,000 RPM and 30.1 miles per hour. That speed turned into 13.5 mile per hour fuel burn, providing a range of 171 miles and an endurance of over five hours and 40 minutes while still holding back a 10% reserve. Both that top end and cruise speed are fairly high for a boat of this size and weight. Most of that performance, of course, has to do with the fast track hull. Fast track is Regal's stepped hull design. The step draws air under the hull to break up the surface friction of the water and the hull is able to move with less drag and therefore less effort. This also means that the boat can experience more speed without the need to add more horsepower and that translates into a direct benefit to the boat's owner as she'll burn less fuel. Our test of multiple boats with stepped hulls has shown that this is a technology that works and to Regal's credit, it doesn't just make all of its versions of the stepped hull the same for each model. Quite the opposite, each model has its hull specifically engineered to get the optimum performance. Of course, this hull design also benefits the acceleration. The 2800 found her planing speed in 4.3 seconds, reached 20 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds, and continued accelerating through 30 in 9.9. .9. As for handling, she's got the comfortable feel of a heavy boat, and that translates into solid performance on the water. She cuts through the wakes rather than launching over them, turns are smooth and equally comfortable with just a slight 8 degree turn into each. She's got a natural 5 degree bow high cruise attitude, which I found to be great for visibility. She has minimal bow rise on acceleration, and when taking power off, she settles into the water slightly stern first. Let's take a look at where all this power is coming from. Hatch opens on an electrically actuated lift. Inside, we have a Volvo Penta V8 380. Plenty of room to the sides for accessing the engine. Easy access for the daily engine checks. This is connected to a DP outdrive. Let's talk about the electrical system for a moment. Notice we have two batteries and a battery switch that's only got an on-off position. When it's in the on position, it's drawing current from one of the batteries. If you want to draw from both batteries, you have to go to the emergency position. However, when it is in that on position, the charging is going to both batteries. Notice the cockpit drains lead directly overboard, and to limit the through-hole fittings, all of the drain hoses lead into a collector and into a single fitting. There's one on each side of the boat. Now, in the event that there's an electrical failure or some other problem that will prevent this electrically actuated hatch from opening, underneath the starboard aft-facing seat, there are two screws. Simply undo those two screws and the ram drops free and the hatch can be opened manually. So while it may be a rare occurrence for the electric lift hatch to fail, if it does, at least Regal gives you a way out. The helm is nicely laid out, all in earth tones to reduce glare, fully wrapped, double-stitched. The panel, aluminum, features gauges to both sides of the Regal view. The Regal view gives us a GPS, engine information, boat speed, also gives us enhanced control of the stereo. This boat's also equipped with an optional bow thruster, the standard trim tabs, and the standard leather wrapped wheel on a tilt base. The comfort level of the seat needs to be noted. Double wide for a second set of eyes looking forward. There's a flip up bolster going all the way across. The seat is also adjustable. Standard is fore and aft, optional up and down. There are six eight inch cleats throughout the boat. There are non-skid steps just ahead of the windshield to ease boarding. And notice just ahead of that, full length bow rails are elongated. It makes it a little bit easier for small hands to wrap their fingers around them. Hatch at the bow is accessed from a lift and lock latch and held open by a gas assist strut. Inside a Lumar windlass, there's a cleat next to the windlass for managing the road. Access hatch to get underneath for managing tangles. An anchor roller goes through the stem, and more importantly, the stainless steel anchor is a high-end Bruce anchor. Notice the nav light is reversible. Well, she's got great handling characteristics and stellar performance. Plus, she's also got a great comfort level, but that's another video. Be sure to watch that one. This is the NMIC trial for the Regal 2800. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.